If you want to match the new 2005 Ford Super Duty's towing capacity with a Chevy Silverado, you better make sure you got more than one Silverado. With a class-exclusive tow command system featuring a torque shift five-speed automatic, the new Super Duty can just flat out pull more. And with a fully integrated trailer brake controller, Super Duty does it with more control. This is best-in-class towing. This is the next Ford Super Duty. Joseph here once again. And once again, I'm at Lewis Automotive Group in Fayetteville, Arkansas. It's the superstore for Lewis Automotive. And today, we're going to be doing a subscriber request, a 2006 Ford F-350 Super Duty. This will be a full in-depth tour of the F-350. We'll start it up, show the engine, and show you many of the features on the interior as well as exterior. So, without further ado, go on and start it up and let it run. The exterior color is known as flat white with a tan leather interior. So um, I believe it's a Ford 6.0 liter. We'll find out in a second. So the interior is a vinyl and plastic interior, so it's the Super Duty XL trim, Super Duty XL trim with the vinyl interior package. And uh, this is a work box truck. I wasn't able to find an actual flatbed, just standard uh, pickup because they didn't have any in inventory. But the chassis is the main deal here, and that's what we want to show. Let me grab the keys again. <laughs> Got a lot of stuff in my pockets. So let's go on and start it up here. This particular unit has, let's see, roll the window down and check the interior. Roll the window down and we'll check the mileage. 193,041 miles. Starts right up. Ambient lights. One of the bulbs are blown. This has the Navistar four speed automatic transmission with low gear selection.
So let's turn on the lights as well as the hazards and we'll check out the exterior. This is the fifth generation for the F-350 and um, it's based on the uh, flatbed lift design because it's got a uh, wrecker box truck uh, trailer on the back. I'll see if I can activate the uh, wrecker lights or uh, construction lights in a second, but uh, the big picture here is the cab part because um, my subscriber is just looking for a standard pickup. And this is what I found as an example for his uh, request. But you got storage bins all over the place. Got some air hoses. So this looks like it was a 18-wheeler uh, service truck at one point. Got an old um, air compressor service light on the back and then you got a little bed that comes down to let you jump up into the back of the truck mm. got to lift up on that handle there we go it's a nice truck though and it's low mileage 193,000 miles still young. I've never actually reviewed one of these vehicles before, so it's kind of nice that they let me come out and tour it. Lots and lots of storage, that is definitely for sure. You could fit all kinds of wrenches and other cool stuff, and it looks like, yeah, it's got a uh, cubby tray for even more tools to come out on this slider bar, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, here's your tool set with lockable uh, connections, but of course it's empty. All kinds of different levels of storage. Got different hook pins for flashlights and anything else you want to hang that's got a uh, key ring on it. Let's check out the interior. So it's manual adjustment everything. You've got manual windows, manual locks, etc. I'm going to crawl over to the other side and I'll unlock the other door so we can check out the other side in a second. This vehicle is two-wheel drive only so you don't have the uh, two-wheel or the four-wheel drive train. But if you did, it would be right here. Manual adjustment climate control system. Your uh, adjustment for the gauges. And then you have a manual uh, disengage for the passenger airbag if you have someone that's uh, too small to sit up front in the uh, advanced airbag system. On the steering wheel, you have your cruise control and uh, adjustment settings, wiper blade switch, turn signals, uh, high beam, low beam, and then on the bottom it's just a standard automatic brake system. So, uh, you also got an AM FM radio, which is currently tuned to uh, AM, and then you've got your preset settings and a seat. So, let's check out the passenger side. Same uh, manual window adjustment on the passenger side. Manual handles, manual locks. Can sit three, one in the middle, one driver, one passenger. Glove box, airbag. It's a pretty basic truck. You do have a small mirror, but uh, it's definitely seen a lot of work because it's really dusty. But. Uh, Let's check a look, take a look at that uh, engine. I believe it's the 6.0, but I'll tell you when I look under the hood. Hmm. 
hood release is messed up. Hmm. And it still works though. <laughs> it's just the uh, lever popped out the guy. Let's see what this has. If I can get it up. Let me pause, the guys. Has four, six point oh liter. Uh, turbo diesel V8 built by Navistar. There's the information. See power stroke. Great sounding engine. So, let's go on and see how she sounds, shall we? It does have a turbo boost reading on the uh, tachometer for your uh, 6.0 liters turbo. Before I forget, here's the horn. You also have a towing range button on the uh, stock, and when you press that button, a tow haul light will come on, which activates the uh, rear tow hook switch. So yeah, that's the 2006 Ford F350 Super Duty. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope the uh, subscriber, Daniel, Sharon, uh, likes the video. So um, until next time guys, I'll see you next time. Take care.